chemistry is the study of matter what is a matter anything that has mass and takes up volume is called matter so once again chemistry is the study of matter is composition properties and transformations the main three states of matter are solids liquids and gases solids have definite shape and definite volume their solids are incompressible why are they incompressible because if you look at solids there is no space between the molecules they are the force of attractions between these molecules is very very strong so if there is no space between the molecules that means they are incompressible liquids on the other hand have indefinite shape but definite volume why indefinite shape because liquids take the shape of the container but it does not change the volume so if you have 10 ml of water whether it's in the beaker whether it's in the erlenmeyer flask it still will be 10 ml liquid the molecules are packed firmly but not rigidly as we see in the case of solids gases on the other hand have indefinite shape and indefinite volume the particles are far away from each other that's why we say the force of attraction between the gaseous particles is the weakest one weakest we are comparing them with solids and liquids now how is matter classified all matters can be classified as pure substances or mixtures what is a pure substance pure substance is composed of a single component with the constant composition regardless of the size or the origin of the sample another way of saying pure substances is that it cannot be broken down to other pure substances by any physical change all elements and compounds are pure substances for example element sodium is just sodium you cannot break that down into a simpler substance by any by any chemical reaction so element is a pure substance sodium is a pure substance if you take oxygen which we write it down as o2 is still just oxygen is still just o so it's an example of an element which is a pure substance water h2o even though it has more than one element but is still a pure substance because it is formed by chemically combining hydrogen with oxygen water when you drink water you are not drinking hydrogen and oxygen you are drinking water water has its own properties water is a compound so all elements and compounds are pure substances on the other hand mixture mixture is composed of mixture is composed of more than one component and its composition can vary for example let's say you take salt which is nacl and you dissolve that in water so here so it is a mixture of salt and water so 
it's not pure because it's a mixture of two compounds so and how do we know it's a mixture because mixture can be the components of the mixture can be separated can we separate salt from the water yes if you evaporate water what will be left here salt made with doodlecast pro